Howdy, y'all. Um, if you saw the earlier episode of uh, Tri-Tip Steak that I sliced into steaks, uh, you saw that I uh, trimmed it up and saved about half to make a hamburger. And uh, I know you watch that episode because you watch every single episode. Uh, anyway, um, this is the second part where we make hamburger. Yay! Okay. There's the steaks. There's the hamburger. I'm going to cube it up into smaller pieces and uh, then I'll throw it in the ninja. Ta da! The ninja! I used to love this baby. I still do. I don't use it as much. I was making uh, veggie smoothies. And that's what I had for a couple meals a day. Once in a while, some fruit, uh, smoothies. Usually veggie with just a little fruit. Uh, but I like the savory. So mine were green and grossed out most people. But I liked it. Anyway, we cubed up the meat. Uh, this is to, we want more consistent size to, to get a more consistent grind. And uh, makes it easier on the blades of the ninja when it's cubed into smaller pieces. So we're dumping that in. This has a good fat content. And if you haven't had a ninja, you're missing out. It's fun to dice and slice and grind. <laughs> so, let's try to... Pulse. Oh, maybe we should turn it on. See that? Huh? Nice, huh? You don't want to over grind it. Or spit you you want as, as little um, processing as possible because you still want some of that meaty flavor. If you overdo it, you just end up with paste. Get uh, a few pieces are sticking here, but we're getting close already. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I love my ninja. Let's see what we got. Does it look like hamburger? I think it looks like hamburger. Yeah, okay. Be right back. Ta da! I did grind it a little more than I wanted to, but it'll still work. So I'm going to add some of my salt, pepper, garlic, Mrs. Dash blend. And. Mix that around a little. And the less handling, because the oils from your skin really mess with the meat. So, yeah. And uh, at some point, I'm going to make those into patties and throw them on the blackstone griddle. And we'll have some good eats. Okay, it's burger time. Let's see how it goes. I got me my brand new Blackstone uh, press. I'm excited. I'm not big on, you know, Blackstone. They're a little pricey on some of their stuff, but some things like this. Nobody else has this. So... I've been, uh, had it on the griddle as the griddle, 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 griddle heated. And, uh, there's the ground beef. It's been in the fridge. It's been sucking up all that yummy uh, salt, pepper, garlic. Let's see.
taking a loose balls, put on the griddle. So they're not really the same size, but they're they're kind of in the same ballpark, sort of. I mixed in the salt, pepper, garlic, Mrs. Dash, uh, paprika, whatever, with the meat. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some uh, gourmet burger seasoning. Once they're smashed, because we're going to smash. Since we got this fancy smasher, maybe slide this over a little. Look at that, it's okay, it's stuck. Yeah. I've got parchment paper. But sometimes the parchment paper just don't do the job. It did smash it though. Smash the heck out of it. Let's try. Look at that. This is working much better. Maybe see it a little. needs a little bit of adjusting, a little bit of seasoning. This poor burger. Smells good though. Looks good. Looks meaty. So, oh, it smells so good. This is the home ground tri tip. And it smells so good. Got me some buttered buns. Waiting to see juice come up in the middle before I flip. Get closer to the middle, maybe. This one, this one's almost a loose meat sandwich. Thanks to the. I'm going to blame my seasoning on the press.
Mmm, tastes good though. Oh, huh? What would you get into? Starting to get a little juice in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And I have been putting the uh, steam lid on. You can see I'm not doing it today. Wouldn't have been a bad idea. Just expecting them to smash better because I have my new smasher. Obviously, the smasher needs some work. But we're getting some good burgers. Oh, yeah, let's uh, maybe toss a couple buns on here. What with just plain butter, because butter and buns, or butter and burgers like each other. Go away, B. I'm pushing down to make sure that, because the burger, or the buns like to cut, and the middle don't get cooked. And as a topping, we got Trader Joe's Magnificence, but we're almost out, so we also have some Kroger Burger Special Sauce. Basically, it's the McDonald's Thousand Island knockoff. Take a look at this one. A little bit. A little bit. Might be running out of gas. Nah, just not enough. Anyway, we're almost there. If I can keep the bee off my stuff, it could be to be or not to be. Oh. Um. Yeah. 
Just look at that. Yum. And we'll take a bite to make sure that the tri tip is tri tip. Mm -mm. That's good, y'all. Oh, so good. Hot and good. Okay, hold on. There's what the boogie looks like. There's what the setting sun looks like over the valley. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for following, liking, subscribing, sharing, helpful comments. And most importantly, thank you for feeding my fragile ego. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!